This is Newswatch at 5.30 with Teresa Kashuba. Good evening and welcome to Newswatch at 5.30. We're at the Pierre Christensen Fine Art Gallery in Peterborough. It's been in business for 24 years, three different locations. So how does a business person achieve success in a pretty tough field? For some people, becoming their own boss, it's the ultimate dream, but it certainly can become nightmares. So what is it that gets some businesses on the right track and others off the rails within a few years? We're going to find out tonight as we talk to Ken Zelazny. He's a business of his own called Action Coach Business Coaching. News Watch at 5.30 continues with business coach Ken Zelazny. How are you today, Ken? Great, Teresa. How are you? I'm fine. Now, how long have you been a business coach for? Uh, I started this in 2003. Uh, Action Coach is a, a franchise of business coaching. Uh, you've probably coached how many business owners? Well over 100 business in the last eight years. All right. Have you ever had to walk into a business and just say, this is not happening, shut her down? Uh, that's not what we really do. I mean, the whole idea here is we wouldn't take them as a client. It's one of those things where we would just show them to say, listen, uh, there's some significant issues and problems that we have to deal with here. And I just want to you know, okay. maybe move into the statistic that in the first five years, 80% uh, of most business owners fail. How do you know that they've got a chance? Well, it's that coachability index that we have that uh, we go through in our own mind as far as saying, uh, what is it that is going to, are they proactive? Are they, are they reactive? Now, every, every business has a reactive component to their business, but mm -hmm. it's being about being proactive. We're not a silver bullet type of person. I can't do your push-ups to make you healthy. Right. Uh, so um, how do you know that you're dealing with a person that is going to be able to follow your coaching? Or I guess that comes through with... Um, well, funny, funny, uh, funny you should say that because there's a book out there called Blink and it's that gut reaction. And in the first six seconds, you know if you can work with someone. And it's pretty interesting how you make that connection through behavioral uh, profiling and, and just the analysis that goes into that that we are, are very versed in. Well, we're in Pierre Christensen's beautiful uh, fine art gallery on George Street. He's been in business for 24 years, uh, three different locations, and certainly uh, I don't think necessarily an easy sector of business when it comes to storefront in a downtown. Um, does the model that he needs to follow mimic the model of other businesses that they would need to follow for success, or does it depend really on, on what you're selling? It's kind of like if uh, you think about it, it doesn't matter if it's manufacturing or if it's a, a art gallery like this. Uh, a restaurant, it uh, doesn't matter. The, the, the business chassis is still the same. So if you think about a car, so you have the Ford Contour and the Jaguar, they're built on the same chassis. Which car would you like to drive? Okay, so, so the options are there for you to move up. Absolutely. What's the first step a business has to, a business owner has to understand if, if they want to make that move up? Well, it, it gets into our six steps to business success, and we start out in, at mastery level. And in the mastery level, we start off with number one is our destination mastery, understanding the vision, where you want to go, and what's it look like 10 years from now. Well, I want to get into some hardcore basics that we sure. can let every business owner that's watching us um, kind of do a little bit of a checklist. Sure. All right, Absolutely. excellent. Great. That's coming up with Ken Zelazny, and this is also ahead on Newswatch at 530. Newswatch at 5.30 continues. We are at a movable feast on Brock and George Street in downtown Peterborough. Uh, we're with Ken Zelazny and uh, talking about what makes some businesses successful and others not. This business has been in business for five years. Yeah, absolutely. That's it's, absolutely great. It's a good milestone and they're, they're booming with two satellite locations. So we were speaking about four levels of mastery. Correct. Um, one being a destination mastery with a vision, so mm -hmm. is there a vision for the company? What else does somebody have to keep in stock if they're looking at being successful? The second one is financial mastery, and it's the scorecard and the health check of your business. I mean, just like in high school and university, you, gotta, you, you were rated on your business. Well, what's in your bank account is your scorecard as a business owner. And having those critical drivers and really knowing your numbers from a financial mastery perspective is absolutely imperative. What if I'm not so good with numbers? Well, that's the, the point is, is that, uh, you know, there's all kinds of different ways to look at your numbers. Accountants will certainly uh, complicate things for people and, and certainly uh, give you some interesting ratios. Uh, we have a, a simplistic form to make sure that we understand your cash flow because cash is king, understand your break-evens, understand your numbers from a streetwise perspective. That's what we look at. Okay. Uh, third level then? Third level is now we look into time management because <laughs> everybody is just exactly exactly. <laughs> I I have to work if I'm going to want to I want to work harder. I got to put in 80 90 hours a week to work harder. And the time mastery, the balance of life goes away. So we look at bringing back balance for business owners as well. Well, that's going to be critical for somebody who is in like the the food restaurant in industry. Absolutely. These people work uh, incessant hours. Exactly. How do they? 
bring that back and check. Does that mean automatically you start looking at hiring more people, bringing in people to do different kinds of jobs? Well, it, it gets down to your systems. So if you have good systems in place, we have a motto that if you haven't written it down, you're destined to repeat it again. So the point about time mastery is to really get your systems in place so that you may not necessarily need more people to solve your problem. Uh, it just might be more effective use of the time that you have in the day. Effective, effectiveness and efficiencies. Okay. Uh, and number four then? Number four is the delivery mastery because once you have those things all in place, how do you deliver your product and service? Because as you know out there, if you can't deliver, there's more people talking about what you can't do as opposed to what you can do. Uh, it's about being proactive in your business. What's the number one thing that you find in, in, in the hundreds of business, uh, hundred businesses that you've coached? What was the key one that was missing in that link of four? A lot of them is the financial mastery because they're the technician in their business and they're really good at it. Uh, however, their numbers and sales and things, they're, they're sometimes they're weak in that area. Focus is, uh, it, it is, it is absolutely paramount on where you're going because if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. And it's important that you do stay focused and put out a plan. We do 90 day planning with our, we take a one year plan, chunk it into four bite sized chunks into 90 days and execute on it weekly. It sounds like something that someone could also put into use as, for personal success as well. Absolutely, absolutely. In your own home life and getting family balance because I think it's very, very important to get family balance in any business. Really sit down and look at the vision of where they want to go with their business. Uh, where, how they want to start looking. Begin with the end of mind. That's what Stephen Covey says is one of the seven habits of highly effective people. Begin with the end of mind. Where do you want to be? And then work it backwards. News Watch at 5.30 continues. We've uh, moved down the street to George Street to Plush, actually a upscale fashion retail outlet. Now, Ken, this location's been in business for eight years, but it has a 10-year-old older sister uh, named Flavor and a three-year-old little sister called SOS Shoes. Uh, they've certainly found their ways to um, some great success. What are the things that we can tell business owners to look at right now? Um, I want to give them action. You're an action coach. What do they do about making their way to success? Well, we talked a lot about uh, the other segments. Uh, this one's about leverage. Uh, leverage would be, you know, around marketing, around your finance, and work marketing around uh, your people. And the people's a really, really important one uh, with the team. Uh, Jim Collins has a book out called Good to Great, and he talks about getting the right people on the bus. And once you have the right people on the bus, is are they in the right seat? So it's it's actually critical to relook at your team itself and make sure that they have all the skills that uh, they need to perform the jobs that they need to be doing. So when you're talking, when you say leverage, what, what are you talking about that as a concept? Well, we leverage, we leverage people through uh, many things, through the actions we take and how we, we, uh, we teach them uh, different types of skills to, to do what they need to be doing. Uh, leverage is, is something that is to be done through systems as well, where we have people that, uh, uh, from a systems perspective, making sure that the business will work without you because that is truly a commercial profitable business is when a business works without you. Ah, and you've, you have success in this uh, form in your background with the satellite communications. Yes. Um, what were, I, I don't know, Ken, I, I feel like I want to make sure that people who are watching and, and are working on making that critical next business step, their next business step to success, is leverage that key or is there something else they need to, well, to, to check or balance? Again, to really leverage, leverage themselves, but really sit down and look at the vision of where they want to go with their business, uh, wh how they want to start looking. Begin with the end of mind. That's what Stephen Covey says is one of his seven habits of highly effective people. Begin with the end of mind. Where do you want to be? And then work it backwards. Okay. And where do you want to be? Well, retired on my boat in five years. <laughs> and wearing these Spaceman cufflinks, what are the chances that we would walk into a beautiful retail store in Peterborough, find Spaceman cufflinks for a man who actually collects cufflinks and has a a history in uh, satellite communications. These cut your eye right away. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just r stood right out as soon as I walked in the door. So how much of this is actually luck? How much of this success is luck or right time, right place? No, I think that, that uh, the people are, are, that are in this type of business, it's about their own passion about what they do. And when you have passion, the money will come. Okay. I'm a firm believer in that. All right, just get all the steps in place and the people on the right, right seat. Absolutely. All right, thanks very much for your time today, Ken. Thank you. We've been speaking with uh, Action Coach, Business Coach, Ken Zelazny. Uh, this is it for Newswatch at 5.30. Thanks for joining us. Newswatch at 6 is next.